What's going on YouTube? It is your girl Lauren Finesse and we are back with another video. And this time we are going to do like a two for one. This is a two for one deal. Um, I'm going to an art exhibition tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. Um, it's going to be the Hebrew Brantley exhibition at his Nevermore Park here in Chicago. If you guys don't know who Hebrew Brantley is, like fly boy, fly girl, um, everybody from like Jay-Z and Beyonce to LeBron James has his artwork. So if you don't know who Hebrew Brantley is, get in tune. But anyway, I was, um, I was invited to this art exhibition probably like last week, a week and a half ago. And I have literally been racking my brain about what am I going to wear to this art show? Um, I have been to art exhibits, I've been to museums, art museums. And normally I would wear probably like some Jordans, like something just like cute, tomboy chic, like something just super cute. Um, I went to actually an art paint sip smoke um, event about two weeks ago that my cousin and his uh, girlfriend threw and I wore Jordans and it was super cute. I'll maybe put in a picture now. So that's the outfit that I wore, just like, you know, super wet leggings and some Jordan ones and just made an outfit like super, just like tomboy chic, but cute, still sexy and everything. So for this show, this is Hebrew Brantley. And I'm like, I want to still be like street chic, funky, but also I want to be cute because I don't know. I don't know who's all going and this may be, I don't want to get there and be overdressed or get there and be underdressed. So I need to find a look that can do both. And so I have some ideas on some outfits that I might wear. So I decided I might as well do a quick look book. What would you wear to an art exhibition? Um, hopefully I choose the right outfit and hopefully it looks bomb. Um, and then the second part of this video is actually going to be a hack. It's going to be a thigh high boot hack. So, ladies, you know we wear our thigh-high boots, and somebody like me, I have thick thighs um, and thick legs, but then I, with the thick thighs, my legs rub. Okay, they rub. They rub together. Um, and so, you know, when you wear those thigh-high boots, depending on the material, they fall down. They slouch. And so, I don't want them to slouch. I don't want them to fall down. And so, I actually found a hack online. I found a few. There's actually a lot of different ways you can do it. But there was one girl and I feel like hers was the best way. And it was in a short amount of time, I didn't want to take chances. So I felt like hers was like fail proof. So she did um, headband. She took a headband and she did some iron on um, Velcro pieces that she's going to, that she ironed on her boots and she ironed onto the headband, which she wrapped around her thigh. I think these are going to need to be sewn just a little bit tighter because I want them to fit. Um, my boots fit. That's the thing. They fit, but it's just when you start walking and you know, y'all in more high, knee high, thigh high boots. Like when you start walking, they start kind of slouching. So I, I want to make these maybe a little bit tighter. Um, I ordered these off Amazon. These were like, I think $12 for 10 headbands. I got all black. No need to get all colors. I also work out. I'm going to use these to work out. And then this iron on Velcro, which you can see here. Um, I also got this off Amazon. I think this was like $7.99 or $8.99. So that's going to be part two of the video because I am more than likely going to wear thigh high boots. I have an idea of an outfit that doesn't include those boots, but I think that's what we're going to do. So stay tuned. Um, and all right, here comes look number one. Alright guys. Sometimes I like slim, sometimes I like dick, sometimes I come bond and I like them slick. Them slick probably went over your head. Could couldn't lay up, I just went over for head. Made a change of plans when she bent over the bed and now she on the balcony pent over the ledge. Alright you guys, so this is look number one. This is this super cute, poofy um, top that I got from Akira. Uh, these are the boots that I'm referring to that I want to be thigh high, straight up. These actually came from my store. You guys know I closed my store 
Uh, but these boots were a part of my store. You can see they have like this uh, metal detail across the front of the toe, which I love. But as you can see, like I don't want to be pulling on these all night. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Akira, but Akira has super, super cute pieces. Um, a lot of them are um, statement pieces from Akira, but like just super, super cute. This ruffle detail in the collar. And then it also has this, this actually ties up with this like peplum type vibe that goes all the way around. Look at that. Oh, come on. Come on, back shots. No, let me stop. Um, and so this ties. Now, I'm not wearing this white t-shirt. I actually do have a an all white high neck, uh, well, turtleneck uh, bodysuit that I'm going to wear. But I mean, just for all intents and purposes to try on looks, I don't want to put on my Brand new white turtle. Well, I actually still have hair. It's a brand new white turtle neck. I actually don't even want to take it out of the plastic because I want it like bright white and pristine. But this is the first look, you guys. What do you think about this? I like the, I like the shorts. I think the ripped short shorts give it a very edgy look to balance out this super frilly, um, almost avant-garde top. The boots make it sexy, showing just a little bit of skin with the with the short shorts. And like I said, there will I will have on actually a turtleneck. So I think it's gonna it's gonna look so cute. Cover it with my neck up. Like it's just gonna look like a whole look. Um, it is supposed to be like 45 degrees tomorrow, you guys. So I think that this look is also friendly to the weather. It's technically spring, but I think this look is also going to be really cute for the weather. And I just, I live, I live for this look, you guys. Like, it's just super, super cute. These sleeves are just, like, I'm in love with the sleeves. And giving you girls the back shot. So, this is look number one. Let me know what you guys think. I like it. Um, I am going to be wearing this wig. I do have it, like, just tied down and out the way. But I love this look look you guys this look is super cute oh i'm also going to be carrying my leather uh lulu ysl bag it's gonna be a look it's gonna be a look trust me so this is look one what do you guys think okay you guys so this is the look number two and then i have look number 2.5 because i i found a way to like elevate this look of course again i am wearing again my thigh high boots that came from my store I'm wearing this super cute jersey material dress that actually came from, um, I think this came from H&M, if I'm not mistaken. I believe this came from H&M. I bought this um, last summer. And I just love this look with the thigh-high boots. Um, it's just giving very much sexy and, like, these boots really do elevate every single look. Um... And so I love that. It's giving very much sexy. It's giving daytime, nighttime, art exhibition. I can go to dinner. I can go to the club. Now, why do I say 2.5? Well, I got to bring a pop of color in, y'all. Look at this coat. Oh, my God. I love this coat. Okay. So um, I actually bought this coat. First of all, it's supposed to be like doing this rain thing tomorrow. Um, which this will go perfect for because this is like a nylon, it's a rain coat, but it's kind of stylish. It's not necessarily a rain coat. Um, I actually bought this from Macy's in Northbrook before they closed down. This was probably like four years ago. I have legit bought, I, I legit wore this coat one time and I wore it just to my boyfriend's house. Like I didn't even wear it out anywhere. Um, but I love this pop of color. If I'm wearing all black. And then I show up with this cute, like, pop of, like, tangerine um, jacket. I think this is just so cute, guys. Like, this is just bomb. Hold on, let me just. This is just, like, so bomb, right? And then I was thinking, okay, it's chilly. It's cold. It's going to be rainy. I could do this. I'm like, why? what if I also wore it? clothes and I'm so glad that I was thinking this to myself because I'm like this trench is such a look um that if I did wear it clothes like it's a whole nother outfit when you close it so if I were to close this and now I 
like, you know, wrap it up here. I love, love, love this look. It's giving, it's giving Dick Tracy. It's giving Dick Tracy sexy spy. Almost fell. <laughs> it's giving Dick Tracy spy bad bitch assistant. Like, that's what it's giving. It's giving spy bad bitch assistant. I just love this color. And I love that this detail hangs out like right at the base of the bottom of the dress. And I just love, like, how cute is this to wear? And with my finger, with my hands in my pockets, like this is just, baby, you cannot tell me that this coat is not just super cute. Like I said, I got this coat from Macy's um, right before they went out of business, the one that was here in um, Northbrook, Illinois. And I think I paid like 70 bucks. Like this is such a really good, like made um, trench. And like I said, it's a nylon material. So it's like a raincoat, but it's not a raincoat. And I think this would also be super cute to wear to the art gallery. I love that it has um, like the trench tie in the back and it's just super cute. It is spring. This is a very bright spring color. And I love it. So what do you guys think about this one? Because I, it's giving everything. It had posts, I got. All right. Look number two. Tell me what you think. All right, you guys. So this is an honorable mention for a look. I do have a few different trench coats, um, long coats that I could wear with a dress like this that would look super cute. Um, however, and you guys see, I keep pulling up my boots, which is why I'm going to do the little hack. Um, but this coat here, I actually got this from, um, Lord and Taylor like years ago. This is another one I've worn on occasion, but it's very Madeline. Like this is my Madeline coat. Like it's very prim. It's very proper. Not quite. I mean, it could be art gallery, but for me, I want something just a little bit more with the pop and edge to it. But this is super cute. So this is actually like an honorable mention on something that I would wear to the art show, like this jacket. But it's not quite giving what it's supposed to give. All right, you guys. So this is a look number three. Three. Um, now, again, I would not be wearing this shirt i do have a bodysuit so it's going to look a lot more fitted and sexy and not so baggy and wrinkly um and so i don't know about this look so first things first i love these boots um these actually also came from my store i've actually worn these uh these boots one other time super comfy booty i love them um, I got this like varsity cotton jacket. I got this actually off of Amazon. It says lucky label on it. Just like something cute. Nothing crazy. Um, this actually came in a two piece suit and that's going to be my final look for. I had got these camel pants from forever 21 out of the men's section because I wanted them to fit loose and baggy and give me that feel. Now, the thing about this look is I'm going to an art gallery. I don't think that I should be wearing a beret to an art gallery. That's so literal. Like, oh, you're going to an art gallery, you're gonna put on a beret. Like how original, right? Um, so I don't think that I will be wearing this look, not to the art gallery, but I do think that this is a super cute look um, to put together, just not to go to the art gallery. This beret, also, I got this beret also from Amazon. I still have my um, cap on, so don't mind that. But I also got this beret from Amazon. I actually ordered this in a three-pack. I got a red one, a black one, and a tan one. I actually really think this is cute, especially with curly hair. Like This beret with this curly hair is a look, but I just don't think not to an art show. And again, this shirt is... It's not giving the full look because the shirt is loose and I would be wearing a fitted bodysuit. And so it's going to kind of snatch me in and give very much shape and a look. But overall, I do think that this is a cute look if I were if I were going somewhere else. Like this is a cute look 
for um, a fun game night or maybe to not an upscale dinner at like a five star, but maybe like dinner with the girls if we went to like a sports bar or something. This is a cute look, but the beret is giving very much literal for an art gallery. So it's a no, it's a no, but look number four, which is our final look is coming up right now. Tell me what you guys think. All right, you guys, so I actually was about to go into the final look, but I have an idea for another look. So this is actually look four and not the final look, actually. Um, so remember when I said that the varsity jacket that I got from Amazon came in the set? These are actually the pants that they came with. I really love these jersey knit pants. And I paired them with this red Pat another pump, which also came from my store. Yes, ladies, I had all the shoes, all the shoes. Again, I would not wear it with this white t-shirt. I would wear it with a um, that fitted like high turtleneck bodysuit that gives shape and gives just like sucks you in, pokes you out, booty tooch. Shout out to Tyra Banks. Um, and again, the beret is very literal. Let me take the beret off actually because the beret is very literal and I think this is super cute without the beret. And again, I want you guys to be able to see the shoe. Sometimes I like dick, sometimes I come by and I like them slick. Them slick probably went over your head. Could, couldn't lay up. I just went over. It's giving devil in a red dress. Ain't nobody brilla. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Last one coming up. All right, guys. So this is a look that I just kind of came up with off the top of my head as, as I was like moving some things around. Um, again, I have another black patent pump. This is also from my store. Again, these are the pants that came with the red jacket from Amazon, hat from Amazon. Of course, again, I would not be wearing this white tee. I would be wearing a white fitted turtleneck bodysuit. Um, and then this is just like a cute little jacket that I got from, um, a boutique of this girl that I know. I'll have to tag her. I can't think. Of, oh, for Fly Girls. That's the name of the boutique. I'm sorry. I knew that. Um, her name is Gabby, and she has a boutique called For Fly Girls. And so this is just like a little jacket from her store. It's a little jean jacket with a faux leather sleeve. But this is cute. My only thing is it's too matchy-matchy. Like, the shoes are black. The sleeves are black. The blue and white cancel each other out, and then the hat matches the pants. It's a little too, too matchy matchy for me um so i also brought out the red pumps because i just wanted to see what it looked like um because for me i'm in this like tone i'm in this tone thing where if i'm wearing red i want to have on different shades of red if i'm wearing blue i have on five different shades of blue i've done it with blue i've done it with green i've done it with tan um red would be next right so here's what it would look like oh see the red pump giving red 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 i think makes this outfit super cute um so this is the final outfit you guys like The art exhibition is tomorrow, so you guys let me know what you guys think. Which one was your favorite outfit? Which one do you think was the cutest? Which one do you think I'm aware? Because I'm telling y'all, I'm leaning towards look number one. Because I love just that that peplum with um, those big ruffle sleeves, with the jeans that give it edge, with the thigh-high boots that make it sexy. I think that one is probably going to be what I wear. But then I also like look two, that black dress with the thigh highs with that pop of color trench coat. So 
I don't know, y'all. Y'all let me know what you guys think. Look, one, two, three, or four. Which one was your favorite? And if you would interchange any of the pieces, like what would you guys do? So let me know your comments and thoughts below. Please don't forget to like this video. And also, please don't forget to subscribe. It is free 99. And um, I was going to include the boot hack in this video, but I actually think I'm going to make that a separate video. I do have the supplies here. I haven't done it yet, so I'm wrapping up this video and I just feel like I want to make that a separate video. So I will see you guys in the near future in the very next one. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.